78 Sports TV here with the future heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. How you doing today, champ? Man, I'm doing great. I can't complain at all. How about yourself? Uh, pretty good, man. Pretty good. So you had uh, Chris Ariola and Bermain Stavern just fought. Uh, Bermain Stavern came out on top. Uh, impressive fashion. Uh, how would you see that fight? I'm going to just the fight as the same as the first fight, you know. Um, I just felt this fight that the main one a little bit more. He had Chris Ariola number. Felt fighting him the first time. Um, he was, he felt like Chris wasn't a threat to him. He didn't saw everything he needed to see from the first fight. And he just finished it up for the second fight, you know. Um, it was the same fight, though. Neither, neither guy impressed me at all, you know. And, um... I'm just ready. I'm just ready to get it on with the winner. Okay. Um, we we heard a uh, rumor that in Vegas you ran up on um, Bermain Stavern. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, basically, I'm the type of guy that if I say anything, just like we're doing the interview now, if I say anything to you on camera, you know, or at a station, no matter where I am, if I'm doing the interview about a person, whatever I say about that person, best believe I can say it in front of his face. I get to. If he was right there in front of me, you know, I'm just one of those type of real dudes that, that, that will go up to you and, and let you know what's up. So I just saw him and, um, you know, promoting the fight, letting him know that uh, I was just telling him win, mate, win, mate, 10, um, so we can fight. And when you, if you win, mate, 10, then I'm going to whoop your ass. And I, just, I was just basically telling him, you know, because um, he had an interview that he did on me, and uh, he had so much animosity in his voice, so much fire and flame in his voice. The voice, my name was mentioned, you know, it was like that he was ready to fight now. And I'm like, I'm listening to it. I'm like, okay. So, so you know, <laughs> I'm ready to get down myself, not just listening to him. So, But in person, he didn't have much words to say, you know. I think he was kind of... I know I, I, I know I scared him. I know I scared him. You know, a couple people don't ever see me act out like that. And, you know, for him to say all that, I told him, I, you know, he was like saying I wasn't a mandatory. I was like, I am your mandatory. <laughs> you know, but uh, but y'all not going to run. I told him, him and Chris been trying to run for me. Uh, but you're not going to run no more. So get ready, you know. Make, um, if you have the business, make 10. So I'm coming to whoop your ass. And uh, basically that was it. You know, people didn't really, people thought I was... You know, people didn't really know who he was. They thought I was just arguing with a regular fan, you know. But um, hopefully, you know, him just uh, gave him a little recogn recognition, you know, uh, for people to know who he is. And, uh, and I can't wait to get it on, man. It's going to be a exciting fight. And um, definitely boxing is winning, especially in the heavyweight division again. You know, I'm just ready to bring that excitement back. Okay, he... Uh also, Vladimir Klitschko has thrown his hat into the WBC. He says he wants a shot at that uh, WBC title. So now I'm hearing that uh, they might try to duck you and uh, fight Klitschko. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, it, you know, uh, Don King was trying to put out a lot of stuff. You know, um, took a few people that they didn't want to fight. You know, but it's not yet. I'm the mandatory, and I'm, I'm looking forward to fighting. Uh, for the heavyweight title, that's it. It's, no, it's not going to be any ducking. It's not going to be anybody coming in front of me. You know, even the WBC itself said that Deontay yeah, Wilder is the mandatory, and, and that's who's fighting now. If I decide to to step aside for any reason, now now they got a now they talking about something. Now he got an opportunity to fight, but that's what now I am the mandatory, and that's who I that's who he will be fighting me. And nothing else. Nothing, no, nobody else, you know, is going to be able to come between that. It's, it's the done deal that's been said, and I'm looking forward to the fight. Okay, give me a round. What round do you knock out Bermain Stavern? Oh, uh, man, I'm this is going to be an easy fight for me. I've been telling people it's going to be an easy fight, you know. <laughs> he's, he's looking at a first-round fight, for sure. You know, you know, we both got a lot of animosity against each other, and uh, I'm going to take him out. You know, I want to take them out. And I'm going to show people that that what I've been doing is, is, is not a coincidence, man. I've been blessed. You know, this is God's will, is God doing, man. I'm just a messenger 
that I'm doing in boxing first and then after boxing, it's gonna come from, from, the, from the words of my mouth, ministering to people. But uh, this is first round knock, I see us first round knock, and I'm still not gonna get credit when I knock him out. People still gonna say this, 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 and that, but you know, we're, we're not worried about it because once I have that belt, you know, there's something that you can't take my name off of. You can't, you can't, you can't take nothing away from me. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I always, I've been ready for this moment. You know, it, it, one thing I don't have to worry about or struggle with is talking about getting in shape. You know what I mean about getting in shape no more because I'm always in shape. I'm, I stay in shape. You know, there's nothing that I have to worry about. He's going to find out that I, I'm the toughest, I'm the fastest, the slickest, the, the much more athletic guy that he's ever been in the ring with. He's not going to be able to, to train for me. There's no heavyweight in the world that's going to be able to compare to what I do, you know. And it's, it's going to be great. And they can't study no tape. So the thing you can see is how to get knocked out or how to lay down on the canvas. <laughs> so it's going to be a great fight, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, he's just a temporary champ. You know, uh, he's just... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the permanent champ. I'm going to be the one that to, to provide the vision to hold it for a long time. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy for him, though, to, um, to be the first Haitian, you know, to be a heavyweight champion. I love when history is being made, you know, so I'm definitely proud of him and excited for that. But the celebration is coming to an end, and now it's come to a time where your reign is over. It's been short. It's been short, and now it's my time. Okay, uh, we saw that uh, you you went and put in some work on the internet troll Charlie Z. Uh, tell us what that was about. Yeah, basically, you know, Charlie, guys like Charlie think that you can hide behind the computer, think that you could you're safe at home. But as you can see, the message, you know, you're, you're not safe. You're never safe. It's always somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. And I'm world connected. I know a lot of people all over the world, you know. You know, whether I act on it or not, you know, people think that it's, it's so sneaky you can say what you want to people and they be like, oh, you're an athlete, so you shouldn't conduct yourself in that way, but I'm human. I'm human as well as you. So there's levels to that. You can't harass nobody three or four years, you know, where then all of a sudden you want to come out with racial slurs and saying you're going to take somebody child's mouth and then say you're going to murder somebody and not expect nobody to come and see you. Now you done got my attention. Now I want to really see you. You know, it, 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 it could've, I could have I sent some people's for him. You know, I got <laughs> people misunderstand the power of what people have. You know, so many people love me in the world and, and I'm sure a lot of other fighters are Entertainer, anybody got the same power. So many people would love you that they're willing to do your dirty work for you because they see you as somebody that's making a change in the world that they had the opportunity or they're not, they didn't want to do what they wanted to do in the world for, for that opportunity. So they willing to, to do whatever you need to be done so you can succeed. And I got a lot of people that love me and believe me. I had many people who, tell me whatever I need, whatever I need to handle for them. Don't worry about talking back to these people. Don't worry about arguing with these people. That, that's hell it. And, this, and I've had personal conversations with people like this. They told me, you know, the love, we got love for you. Don't worry about that. Let us handle it. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna handle that for you. But, you know, I believe in karma, man. I believe in situations where, you know, sometimes, you know, it ain't like that. Because I never want to send nobody to nobody. You know, I never want to see nobody. If I'm going to make them hurt, it's going to be by my own hands. But I never want to see nobody get killed or nothing like that. Especially now over, over this stuff. Like, it had to be something way more serious. So, you know, I, I don't send nobody. But I came myself. And the reason I came myself to, to, to just show not only just Charlie, but all the people that think they can sit behind a computer and talk completely to other people and not expecting them to do nothing, that... People will really come and see you. I made it, I made reality real. I made, I can let them know that stuff can get real, real fast. And that 
I was the right person to come and see him because I got so much going for myself. But just imagine if I was a guy that didn't have nothing to lose or didn't have nothing going for myself. Now you're talking about a whole other situation. Now you, now you in trouble. Now things are really going to happen. Something is really happening now, you know. You know, that's what, that was the thing. I, that's the reason why I came real quick. Because, you know, I had so much that I had the devil and the angel on my show. I had the devil, the devil tell me, hurt him. I had the angel about me, you know, just teach him a little lesson, that's it. So I was, it was a mixture of me. Yeah, I had fun. You see me had two right hand gloves on. I didn't hit him with the right hand at all. I had a right hand glove on my left hand side, so I couldn't burn my fist at all. I couldn't get no kind of power in there because I, I really, you know, a part of me really wanted to do a lot of damage to him. But another side of it is like, you know, don't don't hurt him because, you know, even though you signed a contract, I legalized contracts uh, uh, written up and, and dropped out. If I had him to sign it, if he wouldn't have signed it, it probably wouldn't have went down for him to sign it. You know, and for the most, it brought it to what it was, you know, it led me to, to, to for the most pursue what I was doing. And that was about it, you know. I just wanted to send a message, man, because <laughs> yeah, I want people to look at me. Oh, he's got a nice mom. He's a nice guy. Of course, I'm a nice guy. I'm always be a nice guy, but don't push me. You know, what Tupac said, I'm not a killer, but don't push me. Right, I'm right. Same way. <laughs> I'm the same way. Don't push me. There's just levels to that. People need to stop this mess with this social media talking all that junk. Just like somebody in England came and saw somebody at their house. You know, people people get fed up with stuff, especially two or three years. Now that's too much. I got so much, so much on my Facebook and stuff, and what this guy is sitting me. You know, enough is enough. You know, I can take criticism all day long. That's that's that doesn't bother me. But when you bring taping and and being discreet about that and murdering it and racist, now you got my attention. Now I'm looking forward to seeing you. You know, so you know it's it's all good, man. God's still good. No doubt, man. So you got um, uh, Bermaze Tavern. Uh, any w- word to the fans on uh, what month or what time of the year that fight's going to take place? Uh, we're looking to have the fight sometime in the fall. I'm not sure. I'm looking at maybe August or September. So, uh, but um, it's definitely going to get up. It's definitely going to uh, on the road. You know, they're not going to be able to sit on it. It's going to be definitely this year. Uh, for that to fight, you know, and uh, and hopefully we'll know soon. We, we're working on some things right now, so hopefully we know soon, and we want to let him celebrate his victory, and now, you know, now it's time. You know, uh, the people are so anxious, I'm anxious, and uh, so I just let everybody just stay tuned because it's, it's, it's going to be a thrilling fight. I'm sure it's going to be here in the States as well, too. I don't have too much information at this point about it. I'm just going over assumptions right now. But I'm definitely this year, that's for sure. Uh, so so here we go, baby. So all my fans, yo, this is what we've been this is what we've been waiting on. It's been a long time coming. And now that we're here, now we're gonna prove everybody wrong like we've been doing all this time. But we're gonna take it to another step. You know, a lot of people think, oh, this is a step up for me, but once I knock them out in the first round, I want to see what their opinion is going to be because I never get my credit. I'm just like Floyd, Floyd, beat his battle, but still doesn't get credit. People always want to say things, but it's all good. It's all love for me, and I'm about to be the new heavyweight champion in the world, Deontay Wilder, baby. No doubt, no doubt. No, that note, I want to thank you for your time, champ, and uh, I'll stay in contact with you when your uh, more information comes out. Thanks a lot. All right, bro. Thank you. Have a great day. You too, brother. Bye-bye.